Okay, if you hear my stomach growl at all during this video, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch today because I work in finance and it's the beginning of a new month, so we have month end things to do and it gets a little crazy. But anyway, let's roll the intro and get right into this episode of Friday Thrift Finds. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. And today is another episode of my Friday Thrift Find series. I don't know what episode this is. It might be like 18, something like that. We're almost into the 20s. Um, so I spent $92 on everything that I'm about to show you and my average cost of goods was $5.41. If you know me, you know I like to stay $5 and under, so this is a little high for me, but that's totally fine. Um, I just found some really good pieces that I enjoy selling, so I'm always happy to pick those up, and let's just get right into it. The first piece I'm going to show you, I've only found twice. The first time was pretty recently. Um, if I can find the video, I will link it for you. It was another Friday Thrift Finds episode and it sold lightning quick for me. So I picked these up again. This is Oh My Gauze. Um, this is a size two, which I believe is a medium. I'm gonna try to show you tags from further away so that it doesn't affect the focus on my camera. So let me know how that is. Um, hopefully it's a little bit better. Um, but these are a gauzy cotton pants. They're not like really a wide leg. They're kind of just a straight leg and they do have this little detail here at the bottom on each leg. I think I listed these for around $35. Everything that I'm about to show you has already been listed except for the one thing that I bought for myself. So I'm doing well. Um, but if you're interested in anything, always just reach out to me and I'll be happy to give you a better price. I don't usually find this brand. Um, this is Alice and Olivia, so I almost always pick it up when I find it. This is their airline. It's gonna be a little hard to see, so I might have to go close up with this tag. This is a size extra small, and it's a gray and white striped V-neck top. It's very soft, and it has these little cap sleeves here. I found like four, I think, Lululemon pieces in this haul, um, and these are the first two. They're both the Power Y tank, but I think they're different sizes. So this first one is a size four. Lululemon tanks don't really do the best for me, but I'll still pretty much always pick up Lululemon unless it's in really bad shape. Um, as you can see, it makes a Y-shaped back tear. That's why it's called the Power Y. And then I also found it in a blush pink color. This one is a size six. This is actually my first time finding this brand. I don't know how I have never found it before, but here it is. This is Reformation Jeans. I don't know if this is a new tag or an old tag. You can let me know in the comments if you know. And this is an off-white ribbed tee. Again, super soft like the Alice and Olivia and it has these not quite three quarter length sleeves but definitely longer than a short sleeve. I know I am the best at describing stuff. Uh, these are another pair of Lululemon. These are a size eight and these are a pair of shorts. Super appropriate for the upcoming summer season. I think these are the groovy run shorts or run groovy shorts, something like that. This is the piece I got for myself. This is just cloth and stone, sometimes sold at Anthropology. Hopefully you can see these labels. Um, this is a size large. I just like picking these up, especially for travel because they don't wrinkle when you roll them up in your suitcase. Here's another Lululemon. Okay, so I got five because I know I have one more. This one is a fun color block with a pink, black, and navy color. This one does not have a size dot, so I just put the measurements in the listing. This is the train something tank top. I'll put it on the screen. 
Next we have a pair of Miss Me jeans. I can't honestly tell you the last time I picked up Miss Me jeans because for quite a while in my thrifts, they were priced up pretty high. Um, 15 to 20 dollars and I just wasn't willing to pay up for them these are the signature skinny so not their normal boot cut I think that's all that I've ever sold before and these are a size 27 skinny leg but you know people really care about the pockets these are heavily embellished as they always are and these have some angel wings here if you know me you know that I love graphic tees um, and one of the graphic tee brands that I love the most is the mountain and this is a mountain tee from 2001 so it's vintage and it is new old stock Nos is boss Commonwealth picker Kevin if you follow him then you know where that came from um, this is a 3xl so it's a great size too and it has this adorable kitten in a pocket on somebody's overalls and I love it it's so cute. Um, also, this sticker says um, that the mountain is dyed in um, New Hampshire, which I didn't know, and I live in New England, so you learn something new, I guess. Next, we have some more graphic tees. This first one is Sublime. I don't know if this was from a concert or anything. It doesn't have any tour dates on the back. Uh, it just has the sun graphic, and this is a size medium. And then we have a crop tee. I think someone cropped this on their own. I don't think it came this way, but this is horror movie classic Friday the 13th with Jason Voorhees on the front and he's in a fun neon pink color. Just one pair of leggings in this haul. This is Aloe Yoga, size medium. These are the high-waisted epic leggings. I just listed most of these things earlier today while I was on a break from work, so that's why I remember the names for most of them. Um, so these have some mesh paneling, and this style was also sold on Revolve. So I made sure to put that in the listing. Here is the logo from the back of the leg. Two more pieces. Um, this first one, I don't know if any of you guys know this brand. Um, it's very popular with the bodybuilding and lifting community because their jeans are very stretchy. Um, they're also made so that you don't get that uh, gap at the back of your waist because they are made for people who have bigger legs and bigger booties. <laughs> um, so they're very popular. Um, this is Fran Denim. Brand denim I think you guys can see that they are new with tags they retail for $108 um, and even pre-owned comps can get pretty close to retail because they're harder to find um, so these are like a darker wash skinny leg and they're a size 30 the style is called the Nicole and last but not least um, this apparently is a kind of hard to find scuba hoodie from lululemon i didn't realize that until today when i was trying to find it in the endless amount of scuba hoodies i think there's like almost 600 of them on lulu fanatics so it's kind of hard to find them um but eventually i did so this is called the scuba hoodie plush because it is fully lined including the hood and the whole the whole hoodie is lined it's super soft the outside material i don't think it's ever been worn to be honest with you so you can see the ohm symbol here and it does have a metallic silver trim here thumb holes which i love um, and here is the embroidered logo from the back of the hood it does still have its rip tag um, but the tag has been shortened i assume so that someone you know didn't get irritated by it it's a size 12. it does have the size dot as well um, in the pocket but yeah the last one i saw that sold in this color it was brand new with tags but it sold on ebay for 140 dollars so i listed this at 110 i think on ebay and a little bit higher on posh because their fees are higher so I don't know, I don't I don't really expect to get over $100 for it, um, but I did pay up for it as well. So if I can get close to that amount, I'll be super happy. Again, I didn't know that it was a rare piece when I picked it up in the store. I just saw Lululemon and so 
I picked it up. Um, that's just how I roll. I try not to check comps too much um, when I'm in the thrift anymore, unless it's something I've never found, just because I try to move through there a little bit quicker now, and I'm getting better at sourcing, so I don't really need to rely on comps so much. Not that it's not important to look up comps, don't be like me. This is just what's working for me right now at this very moment. Um, so yeah, that's all 17, I think it's 17 items that I have to share with you guys today. Day. please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this haul what your favorite item was I love to hear about things that you guys would pick up as well and if you like this video at any point please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time bye